camera welcome to my channel i'm the soul teacher i'm here today to do your energy forecast for the week ahead from the 11th to the 17th of january we're going to start off by seeing what is the main energy that surrounds you during this week the main energy surrounding libra this week and we have oh someone else had this as well I think Aries, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. It's very nice. So we're going to um, draw three cards from the Psychic Tarot deck, and then we're going to draw some extra cards from the Arcana Tarot, just to see, um, to get a bit more clarification on the Psychic Tarot deck. Let's get three cards for Libra for the week ahead. What can Libra expect in the week ahead? Come on. Okay. Wow, <laughs> we have spiritual union. Ooh, rejoice in celebration. And the Hermit. That is extremely interesting energies put together right there. These two go together perfectly and it's in succession. It's a two and a three of cups. And then we have the Hermit, which is interesting because that's like you going inwards, um, being in solitude. Why would you be in solitude if spiritual union and celebration and rejoicing is on the cards? Libra, might there be a bit of fear playing a role here? Let's see. It would be so interesting if the moon comes out on that card. That's what I saw just now in my mind. Okay, so let's give it a bit of a shuffle. Oof. Cards are a bit unruly, Libra. It's always interesting, um, the energies of the specific reading, um, how it comes out in the actual shuffling of the cards. It's, it's, it always fascinates me on, on how it happens. So these cards are a bit sticky and they stick together and then they want to fall out and it's a bit chaotic. Okay, let's see. Spiritual Union gets the Empress and Eight of Wands and Rejoice. In celebration, gates eight of cups and the knight of swords. Solitude gates death. Wow, <laughs> the ace of ones. <gasps> that is beautiful. Okay, so I didn't draw these cards with the intention of past, present, and future, obviously. So um, this is all the energies playing together this week, playing out. So we've got here um, spiritual union, the two of cups, which is soulmate energy. And we have the empress, which means um, this this chick is, is very, very powerful. She's got everything going for her. She's very fertile. Um, she, she's, she's got the peace. She's got the happiness. She's got, she's got the water. She's, she's flowing. She's got the lotus. She's got the staff. She has everything going for her. And she's very attractive at the moment. Then we have the eight of wands, which is, um, a lot of readers see this, sees this as the arrows of love. Um, I also like to see it that way. One of my favorite, um, tarot readers on YouTube, Erica Almutz, she uses the phrase, the eight of wands is the drinking from the fire hose card, meaning that this is energy flowing really, really quickly. Like seriously quickly. Um, so this is like whatever this energy around this spiritual union is, it's good. It's going to happen very quickly and it's going to happen in overflow. So, wow, that's interesting. Then we have rejoice in celebration. This is the three of cups. This is coming together, rejoicing. Um, 
you see the, the, the big cup there in, in, in the background. This is almost to me like this is celebrating the Ace of Cups, a, a new beginning. Um, and then we've got the Eight of Cups. Now, this is normally a card of walking away, but this is not simply a card of walking away. This is a card of this chick is walking away because she's done with the lesson. She's learned her lesson. She is now empowered and she's walking towards a new, better um land uh, feeling relationship whatever and she is facing her fears head on this is what the eight of cups actually means this is the knight of swords this is the bringing in of messages of communication but swift very swift communication so whatever this is about you might probably get some sort of communication this week um, from someone that puts you in this energy and this, this energy would lead you to getting out of your solitude. Because I just realized that that's, that is a number nine. This is, number nine represents endings. This is the end of your solitude. This is the end of you being alone. And this is the death of a situation which brings you into the new energy, the Ace of Wands, the passionate new beginning. Wow, Libra, this is such a gorgeous reading. Goodness gracious, I'm goosebumpy. I'm going to leave you with an angel's angel prayers card. Oh gosh, that didn't want to shuffle properly. <laughs> wow, and look at that. Love and accept yourself. It's beautiful. There we go. Give it a bit of a shuffle, and then let's see what the angels have to add to your reading, Libra, for the week that's following. Okay. And we have spiritual support. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. Okay, so this, this ties in perfectly for me to the solitude card because when you're in solitude you go within and that's where your spiritual support comes from but your spiritual support what i feel this message is about is not just they're not just supporting me when i'm in trouble or when i am trying to go within and try to see um when i want support they also support me when things are going really really well so the, my spiritual support, remember, our guides and our past and loved ones, they're not just there when we need help. They want, to, they want to take our hands permanently. They want to share in our happiness and our joy, in our love, not just in the sorrow or sadness or chaos or when we lost or whatever. They want to be with us 24-7. And that's what this card is about. So what I feel the angels want to say to you here is Libra, don't forget about us um, when you're happy and when things are going great. Um, we want to share in that as well. And that's beautiful. And that's something that I think we all would love to know. So Libra, um, I wish you lots of love and light and enjoy your week.